a NASA spacecraft made a historic maneuver, landing on the surface of an asteroid, hurtling through space. Engineers right here in Colorado have taken command of this mission. The spacecraft is known as OSIRIS REx. Engineers at Lockheed Martin Space and Littleton designed it. Today, it made a slow but daring plunge to the surface of that asteroid called Bennu to connect, collect samples from the surface. Now, scientists believe that Bennu broke off from a much larger asteroid. Did these rocks with these highly complex chemicals actually seed uh, our kind of system that now turn into the Earth full of life? Thanks for joining us for CBS 4 News at 6.30. Pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. that, I'm Karen Lee. I'm Jim Benham. And this, by the way, NASA's first ever mission to get samples from an asteroid. And Colorado scientists have been heavily involved over the past 10 years. Karen Morfitt, live at Lockheed Martin Space in Littleton. Karen, how exciting you were in the mission support area as things were underway. Yeah, talk about exciting, Jim. Many of the people who were in that room this afternoon have spent years of their lives working on this mission. So there was a lot of emotion, starting from the very beginning with nerves to excitement at the very end with just some few long-awaited words. We're going in. We're going, We're going in. in. <laughs> Touchdown declared. <gasps> Now, the mission was a success and actually went off better than planned. This was a day that has been in the making since the launch of OSIRIS REx in 2016. The spacecraft has been orbiting this asteroid ever since, trying to find the best place to attempt a tag or a touch and go and then collect a sample. The area they targeted was extremely small and the terrain rough. Beth Buck is the Lockheed Martin Deep Space Missions Operations Manager. She was holding her breath as different milestones. Stones of today's mission were checked off. You know, you have a bullseye target, and we were coming in just dead on on that the entire time. Um, every step was just exactly as if you had just you know planned it to be perfect, and we always assume it'll be a little bit off. That it couldn't have been closer to what we had planned, what we had tested. In fact, it was better than what we tested in the end. So um, it was just everything went. Perfectly and as smoothly as it possibly could, which made it really enjoyable for the team, too. Which is pretty amazing considering this all happened from millions of miles away. Now, while they know they were able to tag that asteroid, they won't know just uh, exactly how much they were able to collect or if they were actually able to get a sample for a few days. If they didn't get enough, they have the option of going back in for a second, even a third uh, attempt. If they do, it will be headed back to Earth and won't be expected to arrive here until 2023, but it will give scientists a look more than four and a half billion years ago. For now, we're live. At Lockheed Martin, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado first. A lot of brain power out at Lockheed. I'd love hearing from him.